All right, what is your name? Alyssa. And where do you go to school? At Georgia Tech. So tell me, Alyssa, how you got into um, pro-life work. Um, so it's sort of hard for me to remember all the way back, but um, one part that sticks out to me in particular is I grew up in Connecticut, even though I go to Tech, and during the, um, the Bush Gore campaign, I think that was in, what, 04? Um, I was driving on the highway with my parents, and I saw on the back of this tractor trailer driving in front of us was this graphic abortion image, like a bloody aborted baby. Um, and that really struck me very much. Um, How old were you at the time? I think I was, gosh, I can't remember. I want to say like 11 or 12. Wow, so what did, was your mom in the car with you? Yeah, my mom was in the car with me, and I think she was a little upset because I literally had, like, I saw the image, and I knew it for what it was, and I, like, burst out crying. Like, I knew that that was a child, and that it had been murdered. That was murder that I was looking at. Um, and my mom was upset, which I can understand. Your mother, a mother watching her child starting to cry and, you know, freak out of this bloody image. Um, so it really didn't, it really didn't bother me too much. It didn't, like, scar me for life or anything because um, I think that's probably what fired me up or one of the images, one of the experiences I remember the most um, because I knew it was sort of like exposing the truth and I don't know if I would have seen that any other way. Um, so, yeah, it was a really interesting experience. So, what are you doing now? Um, well, I'm involved with Georgia Tech Students for Life, which is the pro-life um, club on campus. Um, I've been secretary in the past when I was a sophomore, um, and I also have been involved with my pro-life group in high school. So. Wow, that's great. So you definitely think that showing the pictures has a lot of value in converting people and, and getting people fired up? Um, for me, it definitely did. I think you have to be very careful when you show such graphic images. Um, and of course, always be loving and very, very gentle when you present these things. Um, but I think if you come to it from that mindset and you try to just simply present the truth, which is what you're doing, I think they're very effective. You have to show the truth to really show it for what it is. Mm.